This is Weatherscope. Thanks for joining us. Danny, you knew it as a hurricane. Now it uh, continues to gather strength. As a matter of fact, it's hammering portions of uh, the Mid-Atlantic region. We go live now to the Forecast Center with the latest from Jim Cantori. Thank you very much, Marnie. And uh, again, folks, it's always good to have John Hope, our hurricane specialist, with us. John, you have just spoken to the Hurricane Center, and they have some new wording uh, regarding Danny. Uh, they put out a special statement right now, and they point out that some of the winds uh, shown by Doppler are strong enough right now to be tropical storm force. Mm -hmm. They expect the center to be out over the water within the next couple of hours, and they will be writing the first new advisory on tropical storm Danny at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Okay, so it will be reinitiated at 5 o'clock. It will. Well, all right, in the meantime, we can talk about a foot of rain or more from Charlotte to, uh, on across eastern North Carolina. Also, the tremendous amounts of wind damage. Now, this is something that we haven't seen so much uh, a factor, at least until this well, point. Well, some and of this wind sudden, damage we have reported seems to be tornadoes. There have been a number of tornadoes uh -huh. reported at Virginia Beach uh, and even over the city of Norfolk, several other ones. And Elizabeth City reported uh, North Carolina gust of 58 miles an hour. But some of these winds around the circulation might be almost as high as that. We know we got gusts of 58 even at, uh, at Rocky Mountain, North Carolina right. this morning. So right on the Virginia, North Carolina border during the next two or three hours, it's going to be very rough indeed until this center does move off the coast. All right, let's go ahead and look at the satellite fish, and you can point out a few things, I'm sure, to uh, help us see. It looks uh, like this thing has no problem in making its way east and off the no, water in the next couple of hours. It's moving pretty fast, Jim, about 15 to 20 miles an hour. Very remarkably organized, considering the fact that it's been over land for several days. And if we look at the uh, Doppler radar, you can even see better where the center is, I think. And, and there it is. And uh, right now, some of these bands around the eastern side don't look quite as strong as they did a few hours ago, but around the west side, we put this into motion, these are very strong indeed. And this is where we are seeing Doppler indicated winds and well in excess of tropical storm force. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we continue to get uh, reports out of Hertford County from the back side of Danny, which is this county up to the mm -hmm. north here. And that's where they actually receive their strongest winds. Not so much from when the eastern side came across, but this this northwestern quadrant is where the uh, Doppler radar is indicating some of the strongest winds. And right what, what do you actually see there now, Jim? How, how radio strong? velocity? Uh, they're giving max away at 78 knots, anywhere fluctuating between 70 and 78 knots. But if you just look at the shading here, you can see we're well in excess of 58, even 64 knots in this darkest red area. That's moving again out through those outer counties in North Carolina, Camden, also Currituck County and eventually uh, even the, south, the southeastern independent cities of Chesapeake and Virginia Beach. Now again, Jim, we should point out that these winds, these Doppler measured winds are measured at some altitude, not right at the surface, but some distance off, uh, depending on how far out it is. So the surface winds might not be quite so strong, but these are very troublesome to see winds of this uh, magnitude coming in. Well, what's been happening up in Norfolk, John? We've had several reports of tornadoes, uh, sightings, uh, even a little bit of minor damage up there. Let's get with obviously some low-level wind shear. It is very obvious that the, the air atmosphere is very unstable, and I think mm -hmm. wind shear is contributing to it. The wind's coming in uh, like so, and then around here coming from the south, and that is creating a situation that is very, very unstable, and it's causing these severe thunderstorms and tornadoes associated with the new tropical storm. Now, there's already a pretty strong onshore flow all the way up mm -hmm. uh, the Jersey coast. They've had two to four inches of rain locally already. Now, this tropical system is going to uh, no doubt enhance that with that onshore flow tonight and tomorrow. Well, it certainly will for a while. We'll have to see what happens finally. We have this frontal boundary up here that's uh, been stationary. It's kind of moving now toward the north. And very heavy rains, uh, that front is going to help lift the air a little bit too and cause heavy rains up in the mid-Atlantic states and up toward New England. One final question for you, John. Is this thing going to make landfall again, or are we done with it? We don't know for sure. Right now, the consensus seems to be that once it gets offshore here, it will turn a little more northeast along the coast, but it may stay off the coast, but we'll just have to wait and see. It's going to be close enough to the coast that folks are going to have to pay a lot of attention to it. But in the meantime, we're pretty certain, though, that we are going to see substantial rain up, the, up through Jersey and even into uh, southern New England. Yes, we are. All right, let's keep an eye on that. Thank you very much, John Hope. Again, folks, uh, as soon as we said that, there's a special weather statement that just came out of Mount Holly, New Jersey, uh, concerning the heavy rain and also some possible coastal flooding at the time of high tide tonight. So, John, they're, they're on it all the way up the eastern seaboard. So we're not done with Danny yet, folks. Uh, again, as John mentioned, the Hurricane Center will reissue it or reinstate it as a tropical storm as of 5 o'clock this evening. And any other warnings that go along with that, we will pass them along to you graphically as we get them. Right now, let's go back to the studio for the latest and the forecast with Marty Stanley.
Right. Thanks, Jim. Elsewhere on the nation, severe weather is a threat today in the northern plains. The rain will make an encore performance in some areas. Expect monsoonal rains again today in Denver. Showers yesterday started around the dinner hour. They helped to cool temperatures down, though. High temperatures topped off at 97 degrees before dropping into the 70s. The rain today will start late this afternoon. There you see it, the current situation. And again, Jim and John just told you about our area of low pressure in the Mid-Atlantic region. Of course, it could certainly become tropical. They could name it a tropical storm as it moves offshore if it uh, continues to hold its own like it is. Uh, otherwise, across the country, high pressure remains intact over the Great Lakes, and it's a very nice day. Looks pretty around Detroit and also down through the Pittsburgh area and Cleveland. Showers and thunderstorms are possible over the upper Midwest today. You have some rain now around Minneapolis, and we, we're not going to rule out an afternoon thunderstorm there. You look fine along the West Coast. Scattered showers here and there, anywhere from uh, Wyoming through northern Nevada and to the, mountains of, the Cal Cal mountains of California. We even have some storms popping over parts of the southeast. As a matter of fact, they're firing over parts of north and central Georgia at this hour. A few showers along the coast, the Gulf Coast region right here on Gulf Shores. One more perspective for, sh for you, showing some showers and thunder showers now over South Dakota and back through Wyoming as well. Temperatures, well, you're looking at 95 degrees right now in Little Rock, not too uncomfortable in Atlanta. 84 outside, 82 degrees in Raleigh, and 89 in Miami. Currently in Minneapolis with rain showers, 74 degrees, and 81 in Denver. The national satellite picture shows you that we again have that area of low pressure winding up. And where is it going? Well, we'll check it out. We'll show you the long range outlook. And it does look like it will continue to make some progress. It's going to move offshore this afternoon somewhere between Norfolk and Elizabeth City, North Carolina, uh, right around, probably around, around the Outer Banks. It will move up the coast tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. And then it's anybody's guess. So we're going to be watching it very closely. High pressure will remain anchored from western New York State through Pennsylvania. Isolated showers and thunder showers across the inner mountain region. Uh, just the typical weather you're very used to here. Over South Georgia, more rain possible. Oh yes, maybe even a half an inch or so. Isolated storms around Orlando for folks visiting Disney World. Low temperatures tonight, cooling in the mountains. It's going to be very pleasant, a lot of uh, overnight lows in the 40s, but uh, you'll only cool into the 70s in St. Louis and down through New Orleans and into the Dallas area. High temperatures for Thursday, or throughout, throughout the day today, again, very, very hot in the central U.S., a lot of 90s on tap. St. Louis, you're going to be hot. Little Rock, the same story, all the way into the Dallas area. Well, stay tuned. Coming up in just a minute, we have Travel Wise. We'll detail all of the messy weather across the country and show you where you may have to dodge some serious storms. That's all coming up next on the Weather Channel.